Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hatsti, and welcome back in this green field in Factorio, in the midst of one clear out square. Last time uh, we uh, dealt with the uh, chemical science production, so that now uh, in today's episode we can focus on uh, getting some more research going but for that we need a proper lab set up where we can deliver all the different science um, to the lab setups and the way we will do that is by having it in this square and Uh, let's pull that back one more. Nice. And then we will have station here. And we also need a signal there. Let's make that one train limit uh, and red science delivery. Just the proper icon. Right? And then we will unload on this side. Exactly there, and we don't need this part. We want to have this going on. Right, and then we will have the station here not on the same level and this will be also one and green science also with the icon but then the the unloading the other direction And that way we can optimize the space that we actually need here. Right? So basically we then can have the next one down here can we no we can't because we need a bit of space uh, off the rails so we can place in the rail stations but 
We can have it here. There we go. And you can see the, 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 the space between these two much smaller. And we need to deliver in the, in the end seven different signs. So that's why uh, we have to be a bit uh, creative in uh, getting these things together. So this will then be chemical science. This one, chemical science delivery. Train limit of one. Oh, here we have Mr. Delivery. And then this would be military science delivery. And we need to figure out how to uh, get all these spells through here because of course they cannot be exactly in the same space but we will figure things out so that's four um, then That's the last one. We need seven, uh, six for the suns that we can produce down here. And the sevens will be the space science. So basically for the delivery, we have about half the square occupied and maybe some of them will, will go out uh, through through the back here. Um, but that then means, this then means that uh, we can have the uh, other half for our actual science and research. And if this is not enough uh, uh, space to get the amount of research going that we want to have. We can just copy the whole thing over uh, to second square uh, where we can have whatever we want. So. This would then be probably yellow science, utility science, utility science delivery. Oh, yeah. And this would be. Logistic science delivery. Production science, not logistic. Production. And that 
That means this one is space science. Space science delivery. Also with an icon. And placing all the things in, which I will do shortly. And then I probably should grab the, the labs from above there, craft some more, and then we can we can see how to uh, figure out the the whole belt situation. All the things are placed, and what we now need to figure out is how to lay the belts so uh, we can have optimal um, setup and i think we uh, as we have here more of a rectangle than a square it makes sense that the majority of the belts go along the uh, long side of that that rectangle so that the uh, bottles don't need to be passed down uh, so so many times so if we have one here then we need one here to reach that one one there and there and then we have basically this set up and there we have the same thing and of course i have run out of uh, underground belts but we want to have large power pole there and with that we can then basically have stack inserters here uh, we will push this one back we'll need to see how far down we uh, we need to go and of course here we can have a belt or an insert like that and then the next one here like so this is then basically or let's do it that way this is then basically for the uh, space science so if I copy this Actually, let's copy it this way. Then I can go the whole way through here. And of course, I will have not enough labs not to uh, talk about inserters or belts let's place these inserters here where they need to be because then I 
can just drag the labs back here. Probably we could remove every auto one. And we would still have the power going. cover this one all right let me grab some more materials so we can fill in the rest of this space uh, and then set up the trains and then we should see some research going i think a lab this size will do at least for now we probably could fit in three more rows here but i suspect that uh, if the lab is running we will not have too uh, much science packs on the belt to feed everything so now for the trains so this one wants to go from here to there, uh, full here, empty there, and go. And then we have this one, the green one, um, from here to here. Empty cargo, full cargo. And then this one from here to there. Empty cargo here, full cargo there. And uh, that one is not yet uh, full, uh, fully loaded. Uh, so we uh, we will need to, uh, to wait a tiny bit until that happens and once that train arrives here we can think about what um, what research we want to do next uh, chemical science train should arrive any moment now there it is and with that we have the third science pack here in our lab so we can then think what to do next as you can see red and green already arrived uh, a second time but let's focus on uh, research here so what i have my eye on is electric railway because that will allow me to not worry about trains running out of fuel. But electric railway need electricity. And at the moment, uh, we are a bit short of that. So I think probably we want to do uh, the uranium first, uh, so that we can then uh, to uh, nuclear power setup and aside from that I have my eyes on uh, robots so that means um, no not this one um, we need uh, advanced all processing 
So we can get lubricant, uh, the electric motors, the uh, wireframes, and then oh, we want to have the construction robots. And I would expect that as soon as uh, the labs kick in, we will see, yeah, you can see we have a bit of a problem with power. And part of that is, uh, this is basically only half what we can do, uh, because uh, this setup down here uh, is only running intermittently because there is not enough water. We have one water train going back and forth and uh, that's just, that's just uh, not enough. So now you can see uh, we have more if both power stations are running uh, we can cope with things, um, otherwise uh, not so much. But as we can see, um, we cannot move the uh, items through fast enough so that uh, all labs are, uh, are actually working. Uh, but uh, or we can have uh, faster belts, uh, but then of course uh, we also can increase the reserve speed. But with uh, higher tier researches, then the research time also lengthens a bit. So hopefully, uh, all these factors will even themselves out. But that's it for today hope you enjoyed it and uh, we will see what we can do next time until then goodbye